Good evening, dear professor and dear students. Today, I'm really blessed as we are finishing the course data analysis. Up to now, we learned much statistics and now we, can, we are able to use them in our real life. I guess in the near future, when we will be hired by giant company or uh, when we set up our own business, we can wisely use this. It is an advantage for us. You know, there is one quotation. Practice makes better. Practice makes better. We learn much about statistics. However, without practice, it is not enough. So, therefore, we develop the software. It's also practice. Through this, we deepen our knowledge and we strengthen it. Let me present. So, team leader is a Sato Samaritan, a Samaritan, and we have other member, but you have to there. So, introduction, methods. Actually, we have three methods. Two sample details, parent details, and analyze of variance. So, they are all included in statistical testing. We took all of them and we were able to create the software for them by using Python programming language. In our, as you remember, in our first project, we had only what? Descriptive, descriptive studies, histogram, and box plot. Till the mini project, the second mini project, we advanced it. We included percentile, one sample t test, two sample t test, parent t test. So, the main programming code situated in this file. However, in this file, we create a main, main for the software. Now look, here the example for data analysis. We have two machines. And we have data yet, data here. Now we will use this data and do some statistics. The first is two sample t test. We have data from machine X. There are 10 data, sample size is 10. It means sample size is 10, yeah? So, our program asks, enter size of sample. For group X, 10, because we have 10, 10 data. So we enter 10 here. And the Python code, how it works? This print function, just printing this text, enter size of sample, enter size of sample. And we are using input function in order to, in order to get data, in order, in order to get the number, and we put 10. 10 comes here, and this variable takes this 10. Now our variable is 10. And we have machine Y. We do the same thing. Now our program asking group Y. We enter 10 because we have 10 data. Python code for this uh, just works the same as the previous one. Now this is 10, this is 10, because we enter 10, 10. Now we, we enter all the data, all this, this data of machine X to our program. There, uh, the Python code, so we create a tool list and our while loop will just take this data again and again until it reaches 10 because our sample, uh, this variable is 10 our i is 0 0 less than 10 yes, it's true therefore our code is working it works 10 times this is why loop, why loop and for machine we re-enter all the data and our code works the same now, if you see here, if you look at, look at this, we have what? Null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Our null hypothesis equal to mu x uh, 
and this is equal to mu y. And we have obtained the hypothesis. You see, our program asking for entering alternative hypothesis, the same as this. We have mu x equal to mu bigger, this is no hypothesis, and we have alternative hypothesis to choose, like this. And we entered what? One. We chose two tailors. Uh, mu x not equal to mu y. This is the code. Print function are printing these texts. Here we have uh, two uh, two variants, same equal variants and different unequal variants. If we uh, if we have same variants, we should use. This formula, you know, in order to get this, in order to in order to get degree of freedom. Uh, however, in the different variants, we should use this. So we made two choice, yes or no. If yes, if we enter yes here, so we will use what same equal variance. Here you can see the results. This is these are data for ICUS, for group ICUS. This is data for group Y. And our null hypothesis is mu x equal to mu y. And alternative hypothesis is mu x not equal to mu y. Here we have variables, group x, group y, and difference. We have 10 samples. This is mean. This is central division, this is variance, this is uh, a statistical uh, central error, central division error mean. And estimate for difference, minus two. Here, estimate of difference. And we have t value, this is minus 2.41, uh, and degree of freedom, significance level, this is standard. Uh, and we found t, t value. And we are just checking the condition. Our t, t value is minus 2.41. Greater than t, 2.1. This is not true. This is false. However, here, this is what? True or not? True. This is true. However, we have false here. Therefore, our alternative hypothesis rejected and new hypothesis accepted. Our program check it and displays it. I use these libraries, import math, import statistics, and skip it in order to use some functions to find mean, central division, central error. For example, statistics.mean. This will find mean. Uh, this is also length. This will find the length, length of the data. Variance will find variance. Central division, central division. This is how we use some functions, statistics. And we are just, uh, we have here difference, the result of the difference. This is interesting part. Here we have code, yeah? Formula, formula. How we enter it to the Python? First, we calculated this one by using this code. And this one by using this. Yeah, this. 
and we are finding the value by using this code. This is degree of freedom, significance level, this is standard. However, how can we find t value? Our t value is situated on the table. How can we import this table into Python? Yes, in order to calculate this one, check this one, we should have t value. We have this table, yeah, t table. We can use Excel and take all the data and input it to the Excel, but it takes a lot of time. And however, yeah, and uh, from from Excel you can extract the data to the Python. However, it's really curious. <laughs> Therefore. In order to get t table, we use this function. This function I took from statistics library. T value function uh, from Skippy. <coughs> so uh, this is code for this result. We are, we are calculating this, uh, we have this code to calculate this. You know, it takes much time. I, I, uh, I would explain, however, we, we have not enough time. Yeah, that's what I understand. In the fourth, we chose uh, same, same variance. However, if we choose uh, different variants, for example, we chose two for the different variants. It will go here to alternate hypothesis. This is not two. Uh, for this, we have another formula. Here yeah, for three, another formula. So, uh, in the different variants, degree, degree of freedom calculated like this, in this formula. And we change it. We are calculating this formula here. And t value here. We use another t, uh, t formula. And theory t test. Here, t test uh, is a little bit the same as the two sample t test. However, we have another thing. And uh, here you can see the data because we uh, yeah, we subscribed subscribe these values from this. So we have this data minus three, minus three. In the period t test, we do like this. So we have some results. And we are calculating, um, we are checking condition. Uh, thank you for your attention. You know, uh, it's better to use the program. It takes uh, just one minute. Now let me show uh, Some sections, we will choose, for example, two, two sample t-tests. G. Enter size of the sample, for example, 10. This is also 10. Now data. Thank you. 
Now we have to check to alternative hypothesis. For example, we will choose an equals less than and y. Second one. Assume equivariance, yes or no? No. So here we have result. Thank you very much.